Hi everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus and today I'm going to show you a quick little video on how you can use the pattern fill to add patterns to shapes that are on your silhouette designs and then you could later use that for print and cut in case you don't have the specific pattern paper that you want to use. I've used this uh, several times in the last few weeks with some projects that I have with camo paper that I didn't have on hand and then another wood project that I only had enough paper for my daughter to complete the project and not enough for me so I went ahead and printed my own paper so I'm going to open a new design tab I'm going to go to my silhouette library and I'm going to search for a card that I saw by Lori Whitlock. So I'm going to choose this thank you card. It's the bracket label thank you card by Lori Whitlock. I'm going to double click on that and that's going to open it up onto my design mat that I had open. I'm going to select my card base. This is the card base that I would like to print and then later on cut. So I'm going to go over to the fill panel and I'm going to choose my fill pattern. And I'm going to scroll down and find a pattern that I would like to fill this with. We could go ahead and use that pattern. And so you have to have your object selected by clicking on it. Then you can choose your pattern fill. Each time you choose a pattern, it's going to change that pattern to the new one that you have chosen. You can also make the transparency less, so you can not have it as bright as it originally shows up. If you click on the advanced options, you can do things like, let me choose this mermaid scale again so you can see it. You can change the rotation of the pattern, depending on how you want your card to look. You can change the angle of your pattern. So you could have the scales angled. That would be a little bit different. You can also change the scale of your pattern. So you could have really large scales or you can scale it down. Now you do wanna watch for these little lines because the pattern does have a specific shape to it and once or size to it. And once you get past that size, then it actually just adds another level to that. So if you look at this, you can actually scale it quite a bit. At this level, you wouldn't be able to really notice that when it goes to print. We're just gonna size it there as an example. You could also pan your pattern. So if you have a pattern that has different colors or you wanna get the color scheme in there, let's see if I can choose this one. So if I pan my pattern and grab the little pan handle, then I could move this around I'm going to take my angle back to the original, use my pan pattern again, and I can make that onto my card. If I scale this up just a little bit and then pan it again, I could get that flower where it should be on that page. So you could add a pattern that has a different shape on it where you want it or say I'm going to pick this watercolor image if I wanted to bring it in and have more blue on it I could move the pattern panel over pattern over there's a lot of different things that you could do so you could print many projects with a different little different look each time so all I all you're going to do when you go to fill that pattern into your shape is you're going to select your object by clicking on it and then you're going to choose your pattern from under the fill color panel and the third tab over is your fill pattern tab and then you have a custom paper that you could print out the way you would do that is i'm going to select everything else that's on that page going to use these two shapes as an example and I'm going to set this up as a print and cut project. So I'm going to open the page setup panel 
It's in the top right corner. I'm going to set my page size up for current printer. And I'm going to choose the portrait orientation because that gives the best results. I'm going to turn on the show cut border. And then I'm going to click on the registration marks tab at the top of the page setup panel. I'm going to choose the type one print and cut marks. And you can see that with these two shapes chosen, it's not gonna fit on one page. So I'm gonna move this off and I could print it. I could add a pattern to the rest of these papers and print those all at the same time. Going to move this down. You want your design outside of the crosshatched area. You do not want your design in the crosshatched area. The optical eye needs that in order to read the pattern the, the shape and get an accurate cut. And then I keep mine at the default settings. You're gonna want to, I suggest that you keep your defaults until you get the print and cut down and have accurate cuts. And then once you get accurate cuts, then you can play around with the default settings a little bit and move these registration marks or make them smaller but it's going to depend on your printer and each printer is going to vary in how far you can move those marks or make adjustments and still get an accurate cut. So I always recommend that you start with the baseline. So when you start with the registration marks, the type one registration marks, I always choose the restore defaults to make sure that my marks are right at the, red, at the default settings. Sometimes they can get moved out or if you're opening a print and cut file, the designer could have it set up differently. So I always choose the restore defaults and that's where I get the best uh, print and cut success. And then you'd be ready to send this to the printer and cut out your background paper. So again, I'll just go over here and we'll show you one more time. Under the fill color panel, on the third tab is a fill pattern. And then you can choose your pattern. So let's just say I'm going to choose that pattern. It fills the pattern into the shape I've chosen. I can choose to scale this pattern up or down. I can choose to pan the pattern, which in this case, not going to make too much of a difference, but you could choose where the shape ends up. If you want your flower shape cut off or you want it, there's little tiny flower shapes in here if you can see. It, it really won't do it. If your pattern is the same throughout, it may not make a difference, but you have a lot of different options under this fill pattern tab in the fill color panel. I hope that helps. I hope that's a great tip for you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day. Thank you.